As church attendance dips below 50% during the COVID pandemic, reporters Diana Morello and Claire Lahane explore reasons why the pews are empty and how this is affecting religious education in Queens. Here, at Our Lady of the Snows Church in Floral Park, Sunday Mass is about to begin. As Advent candles flicker softly, the organist leads the procession in song, but few voices join in. The morning sun shines through stained glass windows to rest on empty pews. Church attendance has been declining nationwide for two decades now. In a 2020 Gallup survey, only 47% of Americans said they belonged to a church. This is down from 70% in 1999. Marillo and I are now part of the majority of Americans that do not go to church. I attended Sunday school in order to do all the rites, you know, communion, confirmation, and have all of that out of the way. But I've noticed that over the years, I've stopped attending church altogether. But that doesn't mean I'm not religious. I just feel like you don't necessarily need to attend a church to have faith. I think faith should come naturally to a person and one shouldn't be judged if they attend a church or not. I used to be very involved in my church. I went to Catholic school, I said the readings and sang in the choir. But as I grew and changed as a person, I didn't feel the church changing with me. So I had to leave it behind. But for some devoted followers, mass is still a big part of their lives. Uh, you know, I always went to Mass. My parents, did, you know, that's what they instilled in us. We just, we just did it. That is Regina Moreno. She has been the Director of Faith Formation at Our Lady of the Snows for over 20 years. I didn't question it. You know, today I don't understand how the kids question. I think parents are too uh, lenient with their kids. They let their kids uh, tell them what to do instead of the other way around. Mrs. Moreno's office is almost completely dark, lit by a single lamp next to a photo of her grandchildren. She sorts through her files and hands me a stack of handwritten mass count tally sheets. Two consecutive weeks in November. So it's all the numbers, and then I added up 990 and 918. This is from November 6th and 7th and the week after that. According to these records, the first weekend of November 2021, only 918 people attended Mass, compared to 1,408 people attending the same weekend in 2019. That is 490 fewer attendants. I went and told uh, the pastor, I said, you know, this is the first time the number has fallen below 1,000. They're, they're, not, they're not coming. We're both kind of in agreement that some of them may never return. Currently, the decline in church attendance is synchronous with the decline in enrollment numbers for religious education. When it comes to Sunday school attendance, according to an article by the Children's Ministry, about 35% of churches have seen a decline in attendance in the year 2019, with declining numbers only increasing throughout the pandemic. This home is cozy. A woman has just come back home from a long day of teaching at her nearby Sunday school. She is welcomed home by her dog, Ginny, whose collar jingles with every one of her movements. The living room is fairly quiet, with the rest of her children tapping away on their computers in their own separate rooms. Before sitting down, she makes the sign of the cross at a crucifixion hanging on the nearby wall. Sometimes it comes down also to how deep their faith is and how they practice it. That was Maria Feodor, a religious education teacher at Our Lady of the Angelus Church located in Rigo Park, Queens. When we have parents who are not practicing the faith and who are not modeling this to their children, so um, I can see that they're also less motivated to come to school or to send their children to school. Moreno says fewer children enrolling in Catholic and Sunday schools means fewer children joining church activities like junior lecturing or youth groups. She explains kids who participate in these activities often end up attending church later as adults. But some formerly religious youth are still not going to Mass. Here, in the Olas dressing room, white robes and wooden cross necklaces hang waiting to be worn. Xavier Stewart was once an altar server here for 10 years. He feels weird being back. I'm gonna be honest with you, last Sunday was the first time I went to church in like two years. I had to go for my sister because she's getting um, confirmation. But no, nah, I haven't been going to church a lot in the last, honestly, since college. Stewart says American society has moved away from church because people are busy with other things they value more, like 
school, and work, but he understands why church once mattered so much to his parents. Like, it gave a lot of people in that generation a sense of a reason to keep going and, you know, continue on with life, you know? A lot of people didn't have TV, social media, and stuff like that. It gave a lot of people a reason, like hope. Stewart believes the reason for the decline in attendance is that young people can find connection and community in places outside the church. I don't think there's that many people trying to be priests in our generation. Yeah, I don't know if it's, a church is always welcome. People, they want people to come, but I guess people feel like they have better use of their time. Honestly, if a kid had a choice to go to church or not, he wouldn't go. Phil Zuckerman is not surprised Americans are choosing not to attend. In an op-ed for the Los Angeles Times, he explains democratic societies often experience low numbers of religious affiliation. He writes, this increasing godlessness in America is actually a good thing to be welcomed and embraced. These low numbers of religious affiliation are visible in Queens. Outside of Our Lady of the Angelus Church, it's a cold and windy day and the children attending the Sunday school have just left the Catholic school next door. A man comes walking down the sidewalk with a young boy by his side. They both stop in front of the church doors where I am standing as well. Carlos Montalvo is the father of his 12-year-old son, Alexis. Even though he has taken his son out of Catholic school, he still keeps him in Sunday school. My wife wants to, because she's very religious. But personally, I don't care. My son, he told me that he's very happy where he is in a public school. So I don't want to push him. The reason his son is so happy at public school is a simple one. He doesn't like to wear his uniform. I didn't know that. The pandemic was hard for a lot of people, especially economically wise. And because of it, many were forced to change their lifestyles in order to get by. This situation is no different for Carlos and his family. To tell you the truth, we couldn't afford it anymore. During the pandemic, I was having trouble maintaining the shift for my job. Even with the stimulus checks that my wife was getting, it was difficult. According to a data analysis by the Pew Research Center, rates of religious affiliation are also declining. There is a wide gap between the baby boomers and the millennials in their levels of religious affiliation and attendance. The percentage of millennials who say that they never attend religious services is at 22%, compared to that of the baby boomers and the silent generation who describe themselves as Christians at 84 and 76%. Why are millennials not going to church? In an op-ed for the Washington Post, millennial Christine Emba explains the simple answer is that her generation has no time to relax. She writes, What happens when sleeping, working, and gaming more than our elders begins to make less sense? If we're closing the church doors behind us, we'll have to find somewhere else to tend to our spirits and our hearts. Reporting for Baruch College, I'm Diana Marillo. And I'm Claire Lahane.